Hey cuties! So today I'm, oh my nose is itchy, hold up. So today I'm going to be doing the look your most fabulous challenge. And it's gonna be a challenge for me because I'm really gonna channel my inner fabulous to create this look for you guys. I purposely last night slept on my makeup overnight so it's a little bit faded, crusty, um, uneven, you know, dry, my lips are dry, but that's just take into account the fabulousness and my hair is a little bit greasy but honestly a little bit of grease never hurt anyone it's not like you haven't washed your hair for four days um but anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and take my brush and just tease it in random places like this because i feel like if it's just teased it'll get out of the way and then it'll hide the grease super good tip don't you guys think so even if you do kind of look like elvira elvira is fabulous so that's kind of the look we're going for so whatever you feel like you look like a lion fabulous and you can just like crunch it up and move it around and then you just place it to wherever you like there you go. So you're already feeling fabulous. I haven't combed my hair yet today. You don't want to comb it because you don't want your hair to be untangled, right? So just tease it wherever, even on the bottoms, right? Even if you have split ends, I mean, split ends can be fabulous too. So you just want to incorporate the split end. That's what I'm going to go with. It's gorge. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows. Usually I end with my eyebrows, but I feel like if I start with them, then it would be good for everyone. Normally I would use a spoolie, but today I'm just going to move them in place. And some of my old makeup is coming off, so we don't want to rub that much. And then I'm going to take a, a black liner today. Usually I take a brown one or one that matches my eyebrows, but I thought I'd be spontaneous and take a black. And normally you would go um, very lightly with this, but I am going to go a little bit thick and I'm going to bring them down and I don't want to do an arch. You don't want to have a natural arch. Bring it down at the arch so it's like an opposite arch. I feel like that is really going to catch on. So I go down where there's supposed to be an arch and then go down. You see that? How it's sort of like an arrow as to where you want them to go. Except I don't want to have any type of curve. So that, that's how that looks. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Making the point down like normally. Just like this. Now you have a few options now what to do with the middle here. Normally I fade it out and blend it. But I think today is box them. But bring them in. And give them a very harsh box. Fill it in. Like that. That's cute. So then you want to do it again. It doesn't matter if they're even. There. There. You want to be consistent. And then for the bottoms of them, I'm going to bring them and kind of flick them. I feel like that is really fab. Look at that. It looks like a little mustache on your face. Because, you know, mustaches are trending. So you want to be keeping up with the trends, girlfriend. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I feel like... Oscar the Grouch. Look at that, Oscar the Grouch. Work it, work it. Let me take a selfie. Okay, so I usually highlight under my brows and today I'm gonna be taking a silver to highlight, but you don't wanna ruin the under arch. So you just wanna kinda go around it and then outline the under arch. Like this with a silver. Don't get too close to the eyebrow because they're just perfect. And then what you want to do is take a brow gel. But I'm going to be using a um, lipstick today for this because I just, I like the consistency better. And I really just need it in here. So just a little bit of the lipstick here. And then put a little bit blended up. <gasps> That's so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been doing a more natural look lately and that's just a little bit boring. Like, let's be honest, like who wants a natural look? So, we wanna be fabulous. So I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Electric palette because the colors are freaking electric. I wanna take the brightest one. Let's do this one right here called Chaos. And I just swirl it and I'm not gonna knock off the excess. And primer is so overrated. Uh, I'm just gonna lick my finger a bit and then place it on there and just tap it your naturalness of your body responds to the unnaturalness of the makeup and then it'll just stick 
So I just apply it on there. Holy crap, that actually worked. And then I just tap it on and then like this. Like that, you see? I want it really dramatic on one side. And there's a little bit of fallout, just leave it, trust me. And then for the other eye, I'm gonna take a black. I feel like black is always, oh my God, it forgot to lay. It's okay, you can do it over top of it as well, like this. And then just place it on, I'm just patting it. I feel like patty cake was my favorite nursery rhyme when I was little. Adorable. You're gonna get all the boys. You're not gonna be a side chick. You're gonna be the main girl. Now I'm taking a hot pink, like this. Oh, so Barbie. And then I'm gonna place it underneath my eye, like that. And I'm gonna blend it a little bit out, not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take again the pink, and I'm gonna place it under there and go again over a little bit. You see? And sometimes, I do like to connect the eyebrow, but it has to be a different color. So I'm gonna go with my roots, and which means the Oscar the Grouch green, and then just connect it like that. It actually puts a lot of effort into it, and it looks so good. Look, it's taking the extra time to connect it, right? We all played connected dots when we were little, I'll get over it. Liquid liner is so fun to do. Um, I'm not gonna put it in the top because the eyeshadow really clumps it, but I'm gonna go on the bottom, just on here, and I'm just gonna go on the bottom, very thick, and then sort of outline where you put the shadow. Like, so. You see that? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Love that. And then you go underneath and you wanna line as well look it's sort of like shapes and it's a new form of the cat eye it's sort of like uh, Katy Perry's dark horse that's this is almost exactly what her makeup artist did he went underneath and ah uh, that's exactly what he did I seriously I was there and you go down and then oop I forgot underneath there see it's so dark horse I'm ready for, ready for. that's it these eyelashes here were so good not. These were like $15 at my local beauty salon and I bought them because I really liked how full they were but when I took them off the band all I did was kept breaking in half and all these pieces started breaking off the lashes so one is fine and one is way shorter than the other because it kept breaking in half and I don't know why so I'm not gonna remove the excess glue. I'm just gonna take a glue and then place it on there. Oh my god, it's a huge clump. <gasps> That's okay. And then to save the environment, I'm just gonna use the excess glue from here to coat this lash. Okay? Okay. That works so good. <laughs> and now we just take the lash. And my favorite thing to do is normally this lash would go on here, but I'm gonna put it on this side. And I just, just wanna stick it on. Like, oh wait, I wanna blow on it just to dry it a little bit so it actually sticks. So you just stick it on there, just a little, oh my goodness, what's happening? So you just wanna stick it a little bit above your natural eye lash, cause you don't wanna put it right on. Oh, it went up a bit, that's cute. <gasps> New style. And then the other one, and the other one in the exact same spot. Oh my goodness. <gasps> So pretty. Oh, mascara. Oh, it feels like my lash is falling off. You don't move. Mascara under my eyes. And it looks like that. It's okay if you go on your skin a bit. It's actually the new thing. We like that. Oh, yes. So now that we're done with eyes, our hair went a little bit flat. So I'm just going to use my fingers to do this now. Time for foundation. Now I purposely chose a way darker foundation. I went out and bought this specifically because people said how good my foundation matched and I just, I didn't believe them. And I don't want to do things that people like because you guys all know that I do my own damn thing. So this one is by CoverGirl. We all want to be Ellen. What I do with foundation is there's a pump. Who wants a pump to be sanitized? You wanna take this stick and scoop it out like a spoon, like you're going into a tub of Nutella, cause it kinda resembles the color, and then just like kinda smear it on like this. Just a little bit, just a tiny bit. You don't want lots because 
then you will look cakey. We don't want cake. We're going for the Nutella look. Cake is very different from Nutella and you guys all should know that. And this is my favorite part of makeup because it's almost like face painting. And who doesn't like face painting? All like this, like this. It's so good to face paint, usually. And then you just place it on like that. Oh my god, oh my god, please no one come to the door right now. Actually, yes, I want people to come to the door. Don't blend it all the way down. You want a little bit of patches like that. Um, uh, my favorite thing to do with my friends is to wear a mud mask. And this really resembles mud masking and oh, it just feels so good on your skin. You can also put a little bit more like for the contour, just put a little bit more and then not even blend it out. So this is so gorgeous. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm going to wear it. This should be, should be called the prom tutorial. Your hands are a little bit orange. I don't see it being orange on my face at all. I feel like it blends great. And for your neck, I may take um, a significantly lighter foundation, one that kind of matches, and then just like pump it across in a U form. Add it. Cause that blends it like that. So it kind of looks like a necklace. We are almost done. Now for highlighting. I'm gonna highlight my forehead right here and just pat it and then all around there. Really highlight the dimension between the dark and the light so you really notice it and just pat, you know. Rub the excess like near your boob. For lips, we want to outline our lips because that's pretty. And my eyeliner, same one I used for my eyebrows is what you want to use for your lips because even though your eyebrows and lips don't match, they're very close, like they live very close to each other so they must be best friends. So you just want to be similar with them. And I almost dropped it. It's not sharpened, it does not matter. You really just want to do a circle. So like this, smile like a donut and circle. It's all you gotta think, circle. Be careful. There, circle. And then you wanna put in the middle of that your favorite lipstick. Now, um, I'm gonna put this really bright pink one. It's not super bright, it's a little bit natural. Um, and then just like stick it in the middle like that and you know what's overrated when people say lipstick on the teeth is bad because it's not you know just put a little bit on the teeth like that and then like this and then a little bit down the chin you want to blend it out you can't really see it because the foundation is awesome and then the lip liner too on the teeth just a little bit just a little bit because that's how we roll so that is the how to look fabulous tutorial or tag. I can't really close my mouth because there's lots going on, but that's how you know you're fabulous. So I hope you guys try this tutorial and love it. And let me know if you wear it to prom because that's where I feel that it's most meant for is prom. Uh, you just can't touch your face for maybe like three days. Just, just let it sit in there for three days. Definitely continue to sleep on your sheets and pillowcases like normal because then every day you go to sleep, that old makeup is gonna go back on your face. And now for the close up. So as you can see what I did, there is lipstick on the teeth, just a little bit. The eyelashes are perfect. Eyebrows are so on point. A little bit of contour. My skin's burning a little bit, but I think that's why it's setting in. Um, the lines are so perfect, just like Dark Horse by Katy Perry, Oscar the Grouch. You want like all these characters inspiring you when you do your makeup some great characters so that's it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and i will talk to you later bye and we are going to a barbecue it's father's day today so we're also going to go to my dad and parents house my bob my parents house and get